Hi, this is lesson number 8 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about brush tool. In our previous lesson, we used also brush, but now we will go a little bit more in depth in brush controls. I have here just a blank document and in our toolbox, my brush is selected. The basic property of the brush tool, clone tool, eraser tool, even dodge and burn tool is same. If I will click here, you can see the size, hardness and smoothness, brush shapes, almost these properties are the same. Brush tool is selected. If you are going to draw anything with the brush, it's a good idea to create new layer. Here I have layer palette. The background is there. I'm going to add new layer. My brush is selected and this is the size in circle. This is our brush size. When you will draw anything with a brush, brush will automatically detect the foreground color that is orange this time. So if I want, I can increase and reduce the size here. We have hardness, so it will be really sharp brush. If I will click and drag just freehand, we can draw with a brush this way and it is in the new layer. Now this stroke is in the new layer. Control Z undo. If I want to reduce the brush size, right and left square bracket next to the letter P, we can press left side to reduce the brush size, right side to increase the brush size. If I want to create straight horizontal line with a brush, I can press shift key and click and drag, it will go straight. Now on this point, if I want to draw another vertical line from here, I cannot draw because it will continue the previous stroke. To discontinue the previous stroke, control Z, we need to release the shift key and then click, again press shift key and drag. This way you can draw vertical and horizontal straight line using brush. Undo. If we want to create a diagonal line, we can click, then press shift key and click on destination point. So this way brush will create stroke and angle. While holding your shift key, you can go this way. So this how we can do that while pressing shift key and click. Just I will go back. Sometime we cannot see the brush preview the way it is now in circle. If I will increase little bit, this circle helps to see the size of the brush. In some cases, sometime you might see this way the plus. Now if I will increase or reduce the brush size, I will just see the plus. So it's not really good idea to keep the brush this way. To turn back into the circle, you need to just switch off the cap lock from the keyboard. Okay. If the cap lock is off your brush, it will be in circle. If the cap lock is on, it will be plus. Another thing, if you want to increase or reduce the brush size, you can press alt key while pressing alt key, right click and go left and right. You can increase and reduce the brush size and if you will go up and down, up it will make smooth and down it will make sharp. So if I will go all the way up, just create a stroke, you can see it is smooth. Press Alt key, right click and go down. Once again we will try. Now you can see it's very sharp. So these properties we have here already hardness and smoothness and the size. By pressing Alt key with the right click, we can access that. Another thing we can do with the brush, if I will click here, you can see these controls. Anywhere in your screen, you can bring this control while the brush tool is selected, if you will just right click. Okay, anywhere in screen, if you will right click, you will see this all. And here you can see I have different brushes with a stroke. This is the preview. You might not see in your case. It might be different. Here we can click and we can change. This time you can see that we have stroke. If I want to add the tip beside the stroke, I can just click on brush tip. And here we have tip. If we want, we can just disable stroke and we have this way now only the tip. These things you can change the way you want. I will 
just enable this another thing here we have i will be able to get more brushes if i will click on legacy brushes here we have append default brushes if i will click photoshop will repeat the categories here if i will minimize this category that is a general brushes you can see the main category is general brushes we have a dry media brushes wet media brushes and we have special effect brushes we have another special effect brushes under legacy also if i will click here and here we have legacy brushes you need to click ok now another category is added there is many other subcategories if i will click to open you can see we have here by opening this folder we can enable the brush but at the top here if i will click on this category directly we will access the brushes if i will go to the special brushes and choose some of the brush from here now these brushes are different if i will click and drag you can see based on my foreground color my brush tool is painting in my document so this how simply we get this nice background the color variation is different light and dark after a while we will discuss once again i will right click if i want i can access any brush from here and i can draw a stroke so if i will open the legacy brushes here we have a lot of brushes that we can use by using graphic tab with a digital pen but still there is a lot of brushes you can use by using mouse here we have special effect also under legacy if i will open we have different type of brushes here let's try to check some brush here we have butterfly if i will click now this brush is selected we can add new layer let's delete this layer and we have fresh layer if i will click and drag you can see the butterfly in different color but our foreground color is only orange so why it's happening that there's a lot of color variation and you can see the butterfly some of them are big or small the brush size here we can set if i will reduce now you can see the stroke is smaller but what if we want to spread of this butterfly or we want to change the size rotation and also the color variation this way if we want how we can change these properties these all properties are hidden in the brush setting here we have window if i will click you can see the brush setting and we have brushes it's open here in my screen but just to show you how you can access also so if i will click on brush setting now the brush setting dialog box is open and you can see here these are the properties of my selected brush which is butterfly so here some settings are applied already shape dynamic scattering color dynamic transfer and smoothing the shape dynamic it is applied if i will switch off this and this time if i will draw you can see all the butterflies facing upward it is because shape dynamic was checked under shape dynamic we have angle and size jitter size jitter is 57 and angle was 100 percent if i will click and drag this time since these two properties change we have different result now some butterflies big some small and then there is a rotation also scattering is there control z undo once again we can draw a stroke the butterflies sticking with each other if we want we can scatter them if i will click on scattering here we have property and you can see the preview at the bottom here now this time if i will draw the result will be different before and now so scattering is affecting the brush this way undo let's check the color dynamic the color dynamic it is affecting the brush color if i will click it here we have hue jitter applied 87 and that's the reason we have multiple colors if i will just bring it back to zero now if we will draw a stroke our brush will take only foreground color that is just orange and once i will increase this it is giving different variation of the color so these are the basic property under 
brush setting we have each brush you can customize according to your specific need using brush settings now let's talk about opacity and flow i will just take your simple brush we can increase the size left and right square bracket is next to the letter p used to increase the size of the brush or reduce so here we have our brush size let's create one elliptical selection by pressing shift key i can just draw this way if i want i can add another selection now simply we have here two circular selections and we are in the new layer if i will click on brush tool here we have opacity 100 percent and in my selection if i will click and drag this is normal opacity 100 percent Control z undo if i will reduce the opacity let's say 33 this time if i will click and drag we have transparency in our brush if i will not release the mouse and keep painting it will not add more color in my selection unless i will release the mouse and again click if i will click again now second code third code fourth code so this is how the opacity works if i will change the color let's say i will take green and our opacity is 33 now you will be able to see some of the orange under green this way opacity work and you can see the orange through green color now let's talk about flow it is 100 percent flow actually the flow is the pressure of the paint if you will reduce the brush will produce the small amount of the paint so this is the normal if i want to have a little bit more control on my brush i can reduce the flow undo let's say 35 this time if i will paint with my brush it's like this in opacity if we want to add second code we need to release the mouse and again we need to click but if the flow is less and we will continue you can see that it is giving the second code the third code it will add the paint again and again control d let's delete this layer here in our brush control we have also blend modes the way we have in the layer you can see the same blend mode we have for brush if i will take some sharp brush and simply i will paint our flow and opacity is less of course it will affect the brush let's increase 100 and even opacity 100 this time if i will click and drag we are in the background layer let's create new layer for this once again okay so now our brush it is normal i will change the color let's take red color and change the blend mode let's say behind so if i will paint this time we are in the same layer but my brush is painting behind if i will click here dissolve now we have really jaggy edges around let's try to change the blend mode once again if i will click on maybe screen and i will paint our green look at this and if i will move my brush to the red this way it is blending the color with the previous all right actually this lesson is to explain the basic properties and functionalities of the brush still we don't have any specific project in our coming lesson we will create some project and we will use brush so now you know the basic functionalities of the brush brush settings try to open one blank document and do the things the way i have done practice the shortcut from the keyboard open the brush settings change the specific brush properties use different brushes that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video 
थैंक यू